Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sherry and the name of my channel is Blessed Bobbles. I'm so glad you're here. I have no idea what I'm going to do today, but I have a bunch of jewelry that I am just going to offer up as a pop-up sale. So until I learn how to do live sales, I think I'll just do these pop-up sales for now. I do apologize for that. I do want to do live sales so badly, and I am holding on to some wonderful pieces to um, go on live sale with, but I'm going to bring some of them up today as well. But when I'm not so stressed for time, then I will take a look into how to do the live streaming, okay? And if any of you know how to do that, and you just feel like being helpful, I would really love that. So send me an email or give me a call and help me out, okay? Thanks so much. Okay, so this is how you would purchase anything that you see. My email is capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. You're welcome to take a screenshot of this. What I need from you is the video name and the episode number, the timestamp of when your pieces show. You get the timestamp by pressing the pause button either on your TV or your phone or whatever device. And the timestamp will be on the left hand side. You'll see a little clock number on the left. And the number that's on the right is the total time of the video. Just so you know, okay? And then I'll need a brief description of the pieces that you like and the price, okay? So thank you very much. If you send me that information, I'll be able to answer you very quickly whether I have the piece or not, and there won't be any delays. And I do want to let you know, if you're new to my channel, that I answer my emails in the order that they are received. So if you see something you like, go ahead and send an email right over. You don't have to wait and compile everything into one. I don't mind uh, several emails from one video at all. Don't mind it at all. And there's Bolty right when I start recording. What is it, buddy? You can't get up here. We have a lot of jewelry. I know, but you already had your supper. Okay, I wanted to welcome you and ask you to subscribe if you haven't already. And ring that bell so you'll be notified when my next video shows. And make sure that you have YouTube notifications allowed on the device that you're on, okay? If you need help with any of this, Send me an email and I'll do the best I can. I'm not very techy, but I can help with some things. It's so fun that it's staying light a little bit longer. That means I can make videos further into the night, so that's always good. Okay, the first item I have to show you. Oh, I have gone round and round with this piece so many times. I just believe it's very old. I really do. It's quite a long piece. It's lightweight. So I think um, they are just little tiny pieces of glass, I believe. And they're on this little delicate brass link chain. There's lots of colors, little glass chip beads. But it just looks very old to me. And it's very, very long. And I thought of putting it in the craft jar, but I just couldn't. It just looks special. It looks like something cool. For a necklace to be this long and this old, and I did take some time to clean up, so I know it was loved and enjoyed, but that's the piece. Um, and yes, I don't know what else to do except to show it to you and see if you love it and if it's something you wanted. It's just in great shape and it's so cool. Now, the little glass beads do show wear from being an older piece. Let me measure it, because I know it's like a flapper length. So that's 40, and that is 58. It's 58 inches long, and it's just so cool. I just don't know what else to say. I just want it to have a good home because it's been around a long time. If you saw it when I first got it, you would know that. And I just want to have a good home and not, um, you know, not have to be crafted because there's nothing wrong with it. It's wonderful. So there you go with that piece. I should probably show you what it looks like if it was 
sort of gathered up a bit because it is adorable. So that's what it looks like. It's very delicate and pretty. And I'm just going to say $12. It's an oldie and it's cool. So that's that one. $12 on that super old necklace. Next, I have this very sweet necklace. I have been wanting to make one of those color bags with this necklace for a while. It's very Art Nouveau style. It does look like an unsigned goldette because sometimes they have this type of a clasp. Don't see any markings. It has this lovely textured chain, faux pearls, and then it comes down to this very sweet sort of um, just a romantic leaf and rose and you know Art Nouveau style necklace. It does have you know a little bit of it's not wear. I think it's supposed to look like that like right here. I did clean it so it's very clean and it's just a pretty piece so I thought I would offer it today. It measures 18 inches to the first part here and then I guess another five inches for the rest of it and this is the back of it I just think it's well done I have seen some of them go for sale nice big giant faux pearls on the bottom and I'll say $12 on that beauty very jingly and this, <laughs> this is so wild. I mean, the only, th this must be a belt, okay? Because look at the size of this. Now, these are glass, prong set, beautiful, like an emerald cut, or I don't want to say cushion cut because I don't know the cuts that well. But they're square, blue glass, and look at the silver tone metal that it's on so i think it's a belt i'll show you the whole part of it i believe this one is in perfect condition and comes all the way to here and here's the buckle so isn't that awesome i just thought that was beautiful and it just hooks right into this part well you'd be wearing it this way it just hooks into any of these that you want it to hook into. So I think it's beautiful. This would be your belt buckle. And this is the belt. And the back of it looks like this. I don't see any signatures, but the condition is fabulous. Really looks never, ever worn. Now I'm going to have to measure the length. I thought I did that already. Let's see. I have a note in the bag. No, I don't. Okay, so here we go. I have a tape measure taped on my desk, so I'm measuring it that way. And it measures 38 inches. So a 38 inch blue rhinestone belt. It has quite a bit of weight to it, but I did put it on and it's quite comfortable. So when you put it on your waist and you clasp this on, it stays very nicely. So I don't know. I see them go for sale online. By the way, let me say something because the other day I got an email from someone saying that I shouldn't be charging eBay prices. Now I have to say, most of you know, I don't charge eBay prices. What I was saying the other day was that I saw some pieces on eBay for several hundred dollars, but my price was not near that. Now there's nothing wrong with charging eBay prices at all. Each person has their own jewelry business and they do what they need to. But I just thought I would reiterate because I think the person might have misunderstood that. So anyway, I saw these go for, you know, quite a bit on eBay, not a whole lot, but a good amount. But for my price, let's see, it's a 38 inch belt in perfect condition, all glass. I'm going to say 35. I mean, look at all the rhinestones. 
if you bought it for craft, which would be sad, but if you did, that would be a lot of rhinestones for $35. So I hope that's really just something you love and you're seeing it today going, wow, I have to have that beautiful blue belt. I'm trying to wrap it up carefully and put it back in this bag, but maybe I'll do that later. So here you go on the belt. Really pretty blue. I'd say it's a like a blue topaz kind of blue. Gosh, I don't know how I got it in this bag. Honestly, it's like barely fitting in there. And did I mention they are all prong set? So that's great. You don't have something glued in that might fall out. You know, they're all prong set. So can't beat that. There you go. Next one is also a belt. And it is absolutely gorgeous, too. This one is a little more of an aquamarine color. A little more on the greenish blue. Look at this belt. Isn't it beautiful? Now, this one, of course, the stones are cut differently. Faceted. Again, glass and all prong set. Are the outer ones glass? I think if the middle are glass, the outer might be acrylic. I'm not sure. We'll have to test that and see. I think if they were all glass, it might be quite heavy. But they're all prong set with this beautiful aquamarine color. Oh, I see a little piece that came out right there. Hmm. I can probably fix that. I don't know. I think I can fix that. I will see. I'll ask someone for some help on that. But here you go with this belt. Look at how gorgeous. And it ends with this long chain. And look at that. A bezel set faceted crystal on the end. It is so pretty. Just love this color. So I think what I'll do is take this piece, because it comes right out and goes in there, and I'll just see how they have the other ones in there. Oh, I know. I can probably crimp this and make the metal piece a little bit bigger or something. I'll figure something out. But there you go. Let me measure this one. And it does clasp on the chain on the other end with this big um, lobster clasp. And, oh, I have to show you the back really pretty. It's almost a light gold tone in between silver tone and gold tone. But just really gorgeous. Just so pretty. Okay. Now this guy is that's 20 and that's 39, this is 40 inches. So this belt is 40 inches. So you have aquamarine. Let me figure out if this is glass so that you know. And yes, it is all glass. So there you go with the aquamarine color belt. 40 inch belt. And I'll say 35 on this one too. And if someone wants to fix that spot on it, I'll go to 25. So 25 if you want to fix that little tiny piece, or 35 if I fix it, okay? So there you go with that. I have so many different kinds of things today, so I hope you're going to love it. This is a 1980s Whiting and Davis bracelet. I think they were quite popular. They're very recognizable. And... The signature is up right there under the snake head. So there you go. It's in wonderful condition. Oops, how much are these going for? I don't even know. Whiting and Davis bracelet. I forgot to price it, but I'll say 15 on that, okay? Next, I have this adorable, it's a gold-filled bracelet. It looks like for a little baby. It's very tiny, and it has this gemstone 
that tests somewhere up sort of near quartz and it is like a like they call liquid silver I would call that liquid gold but it is gold filled 1 20th 12 karat gold filled it reads it is so cute oops where's my bracelet measure must have taken a tumble with bolty got it okay so it's just a precious little baby bracelet it measures well maybe someone might even have a wrist this small it is between five and a half and five and three quarters gold filled bracelet with a gemstone and i'll say twenty dollars on that little guy okay next what should i show you next how about this piece this piece is quite the stunner it has all kinds of rhinestones, all kinds of faux pearls, a giant flower here in the center. And I love these little cluster pearl pieces. It does not appear to be worn at all. I did do a search on it and they sell them in India and they were telling me how much they were in like ruples or something. But I'm just gonna say 16 on this. It's very beautiful nothing missing very colorful and the gold chain is also in great shape and it has an extender on it i'll show you the back it's just a stunning stunning piece i think these are acrylic and these rhinestones are glass and the faux pearls are glass so you have a mixture of materials and wow right so pretty now this one measures, um, it's going to be a bit hard to measure this because it has that curve. I would say, well, fully extended from the clasp to here is 20 inches. So that's what that measures. So super good condition. I'll say $16 on that piece. next 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 all right this piece is just a vintage very colorful fun fruit sort of necklace it's made of acrylic or some type of a plastic but it's so cute it's on this spring ring clasp nice dark black beads with the contrast of all these colors so i thought it was really cute it does have sort of take on a fruit sort of shape to some of the beads let me get this out of the way so i again i just thought that was too cute to throw in a craft jar um, it measures 16 inches and i'll say six dollars on that cutie and i might as well bring these up next because these would go great with it they are pierced earrings with faceted acrylic bead on them and I'll say $3 on those. Next, I have this drop dead gorgeous bracelet. You may have seen it before. I might have tested the sterling silver clasp on camera. But it's a beautiful glass bracelet. It has these square glass beads here and these blue and green beads here. Now the beads in between that are metal are all sterling. It's a very high quality piece and just beautiful colors. It comes on the toggle clasp and it measures, it's a good size, it measures seven and a quarter. It's just real nice quality. I wish I knew if they were Swarovski crystals because they sure look like it. Very pretty. And then there's a light bead, light blue spacer bead in between. So I love how they bring those colors together. It's a lovely piece, all sterling. And I'll say 25 on that. Next are these earrings that have really confused me because they're on this card. They obviously, when you see Bomb Party, you figure it's not real. On the back, it says, Main stone, lab created, 
dark blue sapphire. Rhodium plating, $72. But for the life of me, these do not test in um, sapphire at all, whether man-made or not. So I'm just gonna sell them as a gorgeous piece of glass earrings that are blue sapphire color. They are so beautiful. I'll show you the side of them and the back. Quite beautiful. They would really, really sparkle up an outfit, especially if you have something of this color. So I'm trying to give you a good showing of that glass. So whatever they did, they did a wonderful job. Let's see what this says on it. It doesn't say anything. It just has all these fancy textures on it. So that's those earrings. They are brand new, and they have all those rhinestones around the edges. Could be CZs. I don't know. But they're just beautiful. And I don't know how they get 72 for them. But I'm just going to say $20 on those. And I hope you're having a great Sunday. I really do. Let's see, what can I bring you next? Hey, how about a purse? That's different, isn't it? This is a little coach purse that I picked up a while back. It is a real one. It's a little handbag. It does have the handle with it. And... It has like a pink color inside, really good condition. There's your Made in India. And what else? I'm not really um, familiar with the Coach brand, but I did look it up and it is a real Coach. Um, there is a little something here. I'll see if I can get that off. Right now. So I don't want to rub too hard on the leather. It does look a little bit better. I think, you know, someone that knows how to deal with these, maybe a light oil would clean that up. It's not bad, especially if it's going to be inside of a purse and used as a little extra bag. So just to give you a size, it is six and a half inches by about four inches. Little coach purse. And I'll say 25 on this. Cute. Next is this bracelet that I cannot match with my color match jewelry bags. So those pieces I'm bringing out of my storage bins that I keep for those matching bags and bringing them out here to sell to you. So this says Rain is the maker. $18 was original price. It's beautiful, it has deep teal color rhinestones. The flowers have rhinestones in them as well. You've got enamel paint, a lovely olive color leaf. It's a gorgeous bracelet. They did a great job. Heart-shaped teal and green. I really wanted to match this with something because it's so pretty. It measures and it does open up, so it is sort of a clamper. It measures seven, about six and three quarters to a seven. It's a brass color inside, brand new, and I'll say eight dollars on that. Next, I'm going to knock your socks off. This is what my sales are going to be like. There's going to be some pieces that are every day and some pieces that are just going to knock your socks off. Okay, you'll have to excuse the wrinkles. I wanted to get something a little whiter. I really love this piece of linen that I have on my desk, but it's just a little bit off-white, and sometimes it just doesn't give the right color. So, okay, here we go. This is a very old Art Deco. It's called a diamond bar bracelet, and it has a buckle closure, and I hope you can see all of that glitter it's a three, let's see, they called it a three something. It's not a three panel, it's like a three wide. And it is absolutely solid sterling silver. It's marked right there. And let me see if I can get it under the loop better for you. The word sterling and a patent number. So this is quite an old piece. I do see them um, sell. There's not a ton of them out there, but there are some. Now, 
the closure just kind of slides right in here and clicks in there. And it does work well. I just haven't done it for a while and I don't want to push on it. So let me see how that goes. Oh, there's the little, that little lever that you push. Okay, I see it now. So you close it there. I'm so gentle with things that sometimes they take too long. Just want to be easy. It's such an oldie. Okay. There it goes. It clipped in. It's just me. I'm just too scared to push on things. So there you go. There is one tiny little crystal missing right at the very tip. Yeah, there's one missing right there. I'm sure you could get a jeweler to put a little little CZ in there for you, but you just don't see these anymore. This is probably 100 years old. I don't know exactly for sure, but they are called Art Deco, and they are called Diamond Bar. I want you to see the sparkle. I wish you could see how it's really sparkling under my lights. It measures 36 grams of sterling. It's an excellent shape. Look how tough and strong it is. I mean, that is really well made. This is not going anywhere just like it hasn't for all these years. So it would probably look really great cleaned up. It would sparkle like fire if it was. I just don't want to touch anything vintage like that. So it's just beautiful. Can you imagine that on your wrist at night or something with the right outfit? It's just beautiful. So here's the, the scale, and it's 36.3, 36.6 grams of sterling. It's a good beefy bracelet. It's called Diamond Bar Art Deco, and I'm going to say 165 on this. So there you go. Isn't it beautiful? Okay. Back in you go into the safety bag with our little info, and there, okay, so let me know if you love that one. Next, I'm going to go to these silly earrings, but you never know, I mean, sometimes things like this can just go for a ton, because they're just different. I think these are a vintage Lucite pair of earrings, they are an aqua teal, a hot pink and a purple and they're in super good condition they're awfully fun looking they have gold tone studs on the front and they're just a great pair they have the chains on the back super fun I'll say six dollars on those next I have something that I don't know what it is I'm guessing it's Indian some kind of a little box with a cover. Everything works great. These are real gemstones, onyx, and this is like a carnelian agate. It is really pretty. This is not verdigris. I started to clean it up yesterday and whatever that powdery stuff is, it comes right off. I think maybe someone was trying to polish it with a silver polish and maybe that's what's in there, but it's really pretty. Gemstones are on both sides. The chain is really cool. Look at that. And I don't think it has a clasp. I think it's an over the head piece. And it's just a chunky, beautiful, whatever it is. Lovely, right? This is the inside. It's like a milky white color. Almost looks like shell inside. I don't know how else to describe it except that it looks almost like a shell. So there's that piece. I will measure the length of it. I think we, I don't know if we unboxed this at one point or not. It's 28 inches long. So lovely. And I'm going to say 35 on this and see what you guys think. 
and let me know if you know what this is. And whatever it is, it can be used for whatever we want it to be, right? So there you go on that one. And up next is this very gorgeous, oh, this is so pretty. So these are things I was going to put on eBay, but I'm just having pop-up sales and seeing what I don't have to put on eBay. This is a vintage spring ring clasp, all very heavy glass, milk glass, hand knotted necklace. It's very gorgeous. This is one of those real deals, true vintage, hand knotted, and just good, heavy, old glass. It's quite long and can be worn with anything, right? Black and white. It is, my goodness, 50 inches, 5-0. So you have 50 inches of black and white, vintage milk glass, all hand knotted. You never have to worry if a string breaks and something goes ping pong because it's all knotted. And it's just lovely. 50 inches. Oh, I guess I should show you what it looks like if you were to wear it double or triple. I think this would be stunning in a more doubled like this. Isn't that beautiful? So vintage heavy glass. This piece, I'm going to say $40 all day. It's worth it. It's quality, and you just don't find them like that anymore. So there you go. Let me know what year you think that was made in, too. I would love to know. Now, this, I don't know what we have here. Is it a belt buckle? Did, does it go with one of the belts that I have? I do not know. So I'm just going to say a dollar on this. If you are already ordering something else, um, you're welcome to this for a dollar. But if you're not ordering something else, um, it would not be worth your time or mine to have me ship it there for a dollar. So, I mean, pay, pay the dollar and have me ship it. So as long as you're buying something else, a dollar on that. And let me know what you think it is. I think it's a belt loop, maybe. Okay, next, I told you it was going to be different things. This is from Silverworks Life's Moments Green Aventurine Silver Plated Stone Necklace. It's never come off the card. And it's just a lovely piece of green avent aventurine. Um, who was I listening to? I think it was, um, oh, My Jewelry Addiction. I was listening to Tanya on her channel, My Jewelry Addiction. And she was trying to say aventurine, and she was she said adventurine. And then she corrected herself, and she said, it's not an adventure. Oh, my gosh, she's so funny. So there's your necklace all brand new in the bag, not a thing touched on it. And I'll say, let's do 18 on that one. Let's see, does it tell us how long it is? Hmm, it does not. So maybe I should give you the length. Oh, but then I'm gonna have to open this all up. And it's all brandy new. Let me see. Um, yeah, it doesn't really give the length on the back. All right, we'll figure it out right now. Wow, that's in good shape. Take it off its little card. I don't like these anyway. And we will give you a length. It's a pretty little gem. Okay, it measures. 18 inches. We could have known that, right? So I'll get this put back on here. And there you go on that one. Put it right back in here. All brand new. Oh, so I have a little owie on my hand from the cat. No big deal. I don't like to wear band-aids because it kind of draws more attention. But, you know, sometimes when the owie draws more attention than the band-aid, you have to make a call. So... <laughs> I made a call on that one, and now look, my ring is spinning around. I really have to get this size. I love it. I try to wear it, and I put a piece of paper on there. And then by the time I'm doing the video, it's like this, and 
viewers are probably like, what the heck is she wearing on her hand? <laughs> All right, next is this necklace. First, I thought, okay, no big deal on this, but then I got looking at it more, and these are all coconut beads here, and this is white coral. So this is an important piece. It's not plastic. It's made of natural materials, and then it has this huge piece of shell. I don't know if it's a solid piece, but can you see the end of it? The color is a dark color on the end. I don't know if they like stuck it to that end or what, but it's a beautiful, I mean, it's heavy. So I thought that was wonderful. All coconut shells here, and just beautiful with the white coral at the top. Not your run of the mill, certainly very beautiful with that coral. And it has a barrel clasp, so I'm guessing it's probably an older one. It measures 22 inches, and for the coral and shell and all that beauty, I'll say $18. Okay, I've got to get moving on. Next is this very cool, probably 1980s um, coin necklace with lots of chains hanging down. It's a beauty. I just never got to like see what they go for online. And I just thought, I'm just gonna offer these things on my channel today and start practicing what I would do on a live sale. Although on a live sale, I'll be bringing out a lot of sterling silver and even some gold pieces. But today is not a live sale, this is recorded. So there you go, it is a beautiful piece, lots of chains. If you want that coin look, I think this does it very well. Let's see, it measures 16, 17 inches on the first, and probably another four or five below that. But you've got this nice chunky chain in the front with some coins. And then that chunky chain with the coins. And then you have all these other separate chains. It's very well done. Good shape. I'm going to say 20 on that because they are a really nice fashion piece. And I think it's worth it. So 20 on that one. Next I have a lovely sterling silver. I think this is quite old. This is probably a Catholic piece. I put it on a beautiful chain today. But this is rhinestone or marcasite? I don't know, but you'll recognize it. And look at the bale is even fancy too. Let me bring it up beyond my letters and words so you can see. It's really beautiful and it's signed on the back. It's made by a certain maker. And let me see if I can show you how beautiful the bale is. Oh, it's marcasites, that's what they are. So probably way back in the day, sterling silver and marcasite piece. It's really pretty. Um, I think it's set on onyx, yes it is. And the back says sterling. And Gale. So I know that's a really nice maker or a certain company that made these. So there you go on that beautiful, very old Marcasite and sterling silver piece. And I put it on a beautiful box chain. The chain is 18 inches. And yeah, that's your lovely sterling silver necklace. And I know that these sell for about 35 to 55. It's got good weight on it. And also with the chain included. So I'm gonna say, I'll keep it at 35, which is like getting the chain for free. Okay, so there you go on that piece. Actually getting it for less and getting the chain for free. So I hope you love it. It is a beautiful piece. And 
that aside and we'll see what's next. Are you having fun with all the different items? I thought it would be fun to really mix it up today. So this glass bracelet, let's see, what was I gonna do with this? I was gonna restring it and I thought, why? It doesn't need it at all. I think I offered it for sale and there weren't any takers on that one video. So I'm gonna give it another try because it's a beauty. The stretch is excellent. And I'm gonna say $6 on this. I had quite a time yesterday repairing bracelets and <laughs> I am not a jewelry maker, oh my gosh. But I made something. It took me hours, but I made something. I took this bracelet now this is a real gemstone, probably um, howlite or magnesite. It might be turquoise, I don't know. So the whole bracelet was that, it was all these stones. And I decided to restring the bracelet to make it a nice stretch, put these other beads on it so that I could have two beads left over to make some earrings. <laughs> and these took me forever. I have no idea what I'm doing. But I did it, I put the pin through the stone and I made a little like curved part there. Oh my gosh, I was freaking out. And then I put it on these earrings. I really wanted to add some black stones to this too to kind of go nicely with the bracelet. But I was totally done by the end of this. I couldn't figure out how to get stones over, oh my gosh. But there you go, it's a matching set. I hope you love it. And they are real stones. And, it, and I turned it into a bracelet, into a set of, with matching earrings. So I hope you love that. I do not, I'm not saying that I'm a jewelry maker at all. And I don't know if I'll do it again, but, but there you go. I think they did come out very nice though. I like them very much. I'm gonna test the stone and just give you an idea of where it's testing. I don't know what that stone is. The drill holes do not show any dyeing or any, you know, any sign that they're not real stone. And yeah, there's your matrix. And they're quite hefty. Sometimes it doesn't matter, right? We just love that turquoise color. We know that it's real stone. And sometimes that's enough unless it's a really special piece of turquoise that came from some special mine or something, then of course we care about that. All right, so these test way up there. I mean, it's just going way up there. Like into Jade Spinel. Try this one. And this doesn't go as high try this one. But you can certainly see it's real gemstone for sure. So I hope you love that set. I will never make the, back the hours I put in, but I don't care. It's okay. So I'm going to say $25 for the set, okay? So you get a Sherry Original for what it's worth, earrings and bracelet for $25. And if you need to know where this sits, sits at a seven and it's a stretch and wow that stretch material is really great too so there you go the set for 25. okay next i have these earrings they are gold filled oh it's a bracelet i'm sorry so 14 karat gold filled really nice clasp all these beads are gold filled and this, I think, is either a form of jasper. It looks like something between red jasper and tiger's eye. But it is gorgeous. Just a beautiful vintage bracelet. See how the stones kind of give a cat eye effect? Hey, maybe it's cat eye stone. Let's check that. While I measure it for you and let Miss Prissy heat up. This is at a six and a half. And it's just one of those vintage beauties. Okay, so we'll see that in a minute. This is a vintage ring. 
very nice gold plating on it or gold whatever. Excellent condition. And look at the enamel work. I love how they let it puddle down in there, but the tips of the petals, they let the gold tone show. It's a beautiful ring. The size of it is a six. Size six, nice chunky, very good weight to it. And I'll say $8 on that lovely piece. Okay, let's see, because I'm learning about a stone that's actual cat eye stone. And this is giving that cat eye effect. Yeah, it's going up into where like tiger's eye and Jasper would test, I believe. Yes. So I'm not sure. That might be where the tiger's eye, not tiger's eye, the cat eye stone test. I don't know. But it is real stone, gold filled. I love the extra beads on it. And I'll say 38 on this one. Okay, I'm going to try to move quickly now. Because I want to get in as much as I can. So this necklace I think I had in a set. I can't remember. But I thought it was worth selling individually because of the chain. It's on one of those um, Omega snake style chains. And the beads are all glass. And it's just a very lovely necklace. I do love how it hangs. I love that it's all glass. Nice cold pieces. It's just a good quality. It hangs well. It looks great. And you can't beat that chain. Those chains are beautiful. So this piece measures 21 inches, fully extended. And I'll say $6 on that. Good quality. There's the back. And then I have this bracelet again. I'm having trouble matching it with other jewelry, so I'm going to offer it as an individual piece. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh no, I lost count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten chains and things. Lots of chunky chains and thinner chains and a lovely, like a turquoise blue color bead and some seed beads and some black beads there as well. So just a great toggle clasp bracelet with lots of color. If you have something with all those colors that it will match, then you'll know it when you see it. This is going to be hard to measure because you got to get it just right. So I'll give it a shake. It's about a six and a half. And I can open it up and measure it on the measuring tape too. Maybe that will help. The measuring tape has it at seven and a half, almost an eight. But as you know, when you wrap this around your wrist, some of these take up the room. So that's that bracelet in great condition. Very pretty, and I'll say $6 on this piece. Okay, what's next? This is a gorgeous vintage glass pearl necklace. Just one of those that's just top notch. It's all hand knotted. It's a very lovely honey sort of color, champagne color. And it has a sterling silver clasp on it. So to me, that says good quality, and everything else about it says good quality. The way it falls, the way it lays, the luster of the pearls. It's just a really nice vintage piece with a sterling clasp. It measures 18 inches, and your sterling mark is right in there. So when you're out and about or you're looking, and you don't see it marked sterling inside that little flap, you might want to look up here because there it is. So sterling silver clasp, beautiful necklace, lovely color, and I'll say 35 on that. Put that away so it's nicely kept. 
Okay, quickly, quickly. Oh, and I have this lovely vintage coral bracelet. This was mine for a long time, and I do love it. I really do love it. It's that nice gold color that's just a soft gold. It's, I don't want to say it's in between silver and gold, but it kind of is. This is the back. It's nice and chunky. It looks great on. And it's by Coro. So great condition. Has this box clasp. And I'll show you how well it works. If I can get it over my little tabby thing. There you go. Vintage Coro bracelet. Beauty. And it is about six and three quarters. And I'll give you a good look at it all the way around. Isn't that pretty? And isn't it nice how it kind of curves around? It's not just flat. It sort of curves this way. So I love the bracelet, but it's time to let it go. And did I show you the Coro name? I don't think I did. Here it is on the inside. I'll show you the signature. Vintage Coro. Right there. Okay, I think that might be the Pegasus. Yes, this is a Pegasus Coro. So there you go with that beautiful bracelet. It's so sad when I let things go, but I'm so happy for those who get them. So 45 on the vintage Pegasus Coro. So pretty. It just amazes me how long these pieces have been around and that they are still looking so good. Next, I have a beautiful Honora Real Pearl and Sterling Silver Necklace. Sorry about my little tags, but I have to have them on there so I don't have to look at everything a hundred times. So there you go. Sterling Silver Clasp. It's marked 925 on one side and has that fancy H on the other side. But just beautiful pearls. They are really like near flawless. I don't see any real problems in them. Pearls are rated by whether they have little divots in them, little lines in them, things like that. But these are really, I don't see any of those things. And of course it's all hand knotted and by Honora with sterling. Can't beat that. So for that beautiful piece, and I think they're called rice pearls, I'm going to say, oh, let me measure the pearls for you. I'll say 65 on the pearl necklace, and let's get a little measurement. It's a little hard to do these, but okay, so there you go on the millimeters. Now, it just moved. It's kind of hard for me to read that because of my eyesight, but if I have to really know something, then I get my loop out. But there you go on the millimeters on the pearl, and I hope you love it. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, just great quality pearls. You don't have to worry about that, and it's a lifetime piece. And a nice gift, too. Oh, and the color is just a creamy white. And they do such a great job because they match all their pearls really well. You don't see like different colors in them. Nice matching. So that contributes to the price, all those different things that I talk about. So I hope that is helpful to you. Then I have this vintage Monet piece. Check this out. Isn't that cool? This is kind of a glittery gold tone. Oh, I don't know what to call this piece, like Egyptian Revival. It's a stunner. It's got a little box clasp. Let's see, I don't want to ruin my nails. And there's your Monet sign right there. And some of you know what year it'll be by the way it's signed. I'm not that much into it yet, but it has all capitals. And I will open the clasp so you know it works well. Yep, there we go. And close. 
but now I need to measure it, so I gotta open it up again. And this is the back of it. It's a lot like the coral bracelet I just showed you in the way it's linked together. It's got all of its coloring still there. It's kind of like a brushed crosshatch kind of a gold um, covering. And you can't beat a Monet. This one measures, let's see, from end to end, 16 inches. So a choker style, I guess. So an old Monet, great condition, quite a cool texture and style. And this is curved too. You might wanna wear those two pieces together. They might go well. And I'm gonna say 45 on this. Okay, so vintage Monet. Goodness, am I gonna get to all these? I will try, I'll go really fast on these. So make sure you got your pen and pencil out, or pen and paper out, because I'm gonna to try to go fast. So this is a cross. It's called the 2000 Millennial Cross by P. Buckley Moss, and it's signed Moss at the bottom. It can be a pendant or it can be on a chain, as you see here. And it's on a nice, long, beautiful vintage gold tone chain spring ring clasp, perfect condition. Not a thing wrong with it. And I have priced these pendants by themselves. Let me see, it is measuring 30 inches. So that's a nice long chain in itself. Great condition. 30 inches with the cross. And I'm gonna say 18. I think these sold for more than that, but this one is on a chain, so hope you love that beautiful piece. Next, I have this rosary that I'm going to offer to whoever would like to have it, and I'll send it to you along with your order. I'm not going to charge anything for this, although it is gorgeous. It's made with all moon glow beads. It's a beauty. The reason it is these colors is because it's a rosary to pray for all around the world. Look at the moon glow thermoset beads. Aren't they beautiful? And the different colors mean different countries, I think. So, yes, it's called a World Mission Rosary. If you would like that, just let me know and I'll send it with your order. So pretty. There you go on that one. Oh my, do we have time for craft bags and craft jars? This chain, I just couldn't get over my love for it. I am in love with this chain. I can't believe it's not sterling, but it's not, and that's okay. But look at the, the links on it, and these slide back and forth. It had a different pendant on it that I didn't like, so I took the pendant off and I put this one on. I just think it's gorgeous. And I hope you like that new pendant that I put on. It is a choker length at, yeah, fully extended, it's 18. So 16 to 18 inches. I just couldn't get over that chain. I'm gonna say 20 on that. I think it's a really cool, awesome, beautiful piece of jewelry. Next, oh my. Um, this is a gold-filled bracelet as well. It has a gold-filled spring ring clasp. And of course, all the metal components are gold-filled as well. You have some genuine pearls on it. And these little black hearts, aren't they cute? And these little pieces of onyx. So there you go with a gold-filled and pearl bracelet, onyx and pearl bracelet. Now these pieces are not onyx, but these beads are right here. So gold filled onyx, real pearl. And it measures exactly seven inches. So for the gold filled and onyx, I'll say $16. Okay, now I wanted to show you some earrings. Look at these 1928 earrings. They are made of mother of pearl. 
Now the vintage 1928 pieces are really high quality. They're not as great a quality today, so when you find the older pieces, grab them up because they're worth it. So I see these all the time as clip-ons. I have not seen them as pierced, so I thought it was pretty cool that these are pierced. And I'm going to ask 16 on these, and that is not an eBay price, so I hope that's great. These are sterling silver and carved jade earrings. You'll notice that they're a little bit different color from each other, but I don't know what else to do. That's what they are. They're beautiful carved jade, sterling silver. You can see the mark on the earring. I can't change the color, and maybe when you're wearing them, someone will not notice that much because they're far apart, or maybe you just want to use these to make something wonderful out of. Not sure, but they kind of, they also test in the aquamarine range and they do look sort of aquamarine. So I don't want to say what they are, but they test in aqua and in jade. So, and they're all carved. I think they're beautiful. And if they were perfectly matching, I would ask more. But since they're a little bit different color, Oh, I'm just going to say 20 on these. Okay, what's next? Lovely art glass. These are not on sterling, but they have that, what do you call it, when it's glass and there's metal in it. Um, hmm. It's just escaping me. But there you go, a lovely pair of earrings. This is like a white, silvery, milky glass, and that is a copper color. And I'll think of it when the video's over. But there you go on those glass earrings. And I'll say $8 on those. Now look at these. Look at those tiger's eye earrings. I think these are older. They certainly look it. I just put these backs on them. So yeah, these are vintage. Really great piece of tiger's eye. And I love the cut. I don't really see this cut of tiger's eye that much. So again, these are things I was going to put on eBay, but I can't. I don't have time to put everything on there. So I'm going to offer them to you here. And I'm going to say 30 on these. I think the gemstone is really worth it. So beautiful. Okay, really quickly. I have this pair of sweater clips. They say patent pending. And again, it's one of those... Catholic school sweater clip pieces. It's in wonderful condition, probably bringing back some great memories for someone. And I, I'm sure it's faux pearl, but there's your patent pending on the top, and it's in excellent condition. Everything works great. Really nice, nice piece. And I'm going to say 25 on this. It's so pretty. And that will bring back memories for someone. Okay, this is a pin, and it's a pair of praying hands. And it's so big, my writing. 14 karat gold over 925. Tie tack pin, I believe. So there you go. Probably, I'm sure it's marked on it. And it's in good shape. Little tie tack pin, or maybe you can just wear it on a shirt or something. And I'll say $15 on that little cutie. What am I going to do? I have all kinds of sterling rings. Oh, okay, I have this bypass ring. You can't beat a bypass ring because you can wear it on any finger that you want. So this ring is sitting at about a six and a half, seven. But you can size it any way you want. It's really cute. Sterling silver with the bead balls. And I'm just going to say 12 on that. Okay, this is a much chunkier, pretty heavy spoon art ring. And it is signed S-I-L-O-O. -O. Oh, I'm sorry. This is stainless steel USA. So stainless steel spoon ring. Signed by that artist, S like Sam, I-L-O-O, -O, and USA. 
So there you go on that one for those that like stainless steel jewelry. It measures about a six and a half, and I'll say $5 on that. This is just a lovely sterling wire, really soft design ring. It has the three wires joining in the back, and this is a nice small ring at a size five. And I'll say $10 on that. This is a Pandora ring. It says 925ALE. It's called the Rose Pandora. And this is a size 5 as well, maybe a little bit over 5. They sell for about 50, and I'm going to say 30. So $30 on the Pandora signed ring. Next is a very old, I'm sure an old tiger's eye. Look at that. I love how they place that stone just like that. It's bezel set in this old ring, all sterling. It is signed back there. Let's see, the mark is worn, but it does say 925 and I tested it. I'm reading my notes. Vintage tiger's eye, now let's get a size. This is really an oldie. And this is just a little over size five as well. So maybe five and a quarter. Lovely band, it's been around a long time. Oh, I love this one. I'm gonna say $20 on that. Now these I think can be pinky rings or tootsie toe rings, not sure. This is a sizable, obviously. And it's sitting at a five. So I'm sure that could be a cute pinky ring. And I'll say $6 on that one. Okay, we're moving right along. This is like a nice band sterling silver ring. It's a heavier amount of sterling. It is marked 925 and tests as 925. It is a little over a six. Beautiful twisted maybe wedding band style ring. And for that one, I'll say 22. It's a good amount of sterling. Okay, now this is an Avon and it's called Blue Goldstone. Can you see the sparkles in there? So there's a man-made stone called Goldstone and this is the blue version of it. This is an Avon ring. I don't know if those are real pearls. They do feel like real pearls, but you'd have to look that up. And look, it has that sizer in it. Isn't that great? So truly vintage Avon. It's signed right there on the back, Avon. And I'm gonna say $19 on that piece. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's get a few more in. Sterling silver, rope design. Um, it is marked 925. And let me remind myself what it tests as. It's testing in the tourmaline range. So purple tourmalines, sterling silver, and measures a size eight. Oh, I didn't know this was a size eight. Okay, so I'm gonna say $15 on that. Cute little bezel set stones. And we have this beautiful cubic zirconia, little bow tie ring. This is sterling plated and cubic zirconia, yeah. And I think this is a nice little one too. Yeah, this is not even a size five, so a four and three quarters. But the cubic zirconia is a really nice, just a great piece. And I'll say $10 on that. Okay, we got to go. Another sterling ring, um, twisted wires marked inside, measures about a three. So again, maybe a pinky ring, probably toe ring. And I'll say, let's see, did I weigh this one? Not sure. Oh, this one's marked E.C. Company. 
So it is signed and I'll save $8 on that ring. Wow, we're almost done with this bowl. These are so pretty. They're gold over copper and these are pearls. So you have a genuine pearl and these little crosses on the bottom. I've been waiting for something maybe to match on a jewelry bag set with, but I can't find anything that has that color pearl. So I'm offering these by themselves. Quite lovely dangle earrings, gold plating over copper with the pearl, and I'll say $12 on those. So now I can put them all back in my little vintage bowl. And I can't wait to start showing you some of my vintage glass and collectibles that I have when I get more settled and have a minute. Okay, I'll excuse my arm. I'm gonna try to throw in a few more pieces. I'm afraid if I make the video too long, people check out, they'll miss the pieces at the end. So this looks like Larimar to me and it tests as a gemstone. I don't think that's a crack because it doesn't go all the way through. I think it's part of what the stone looks like. I don't know if it's Larimar, but it tests up in that area and it looks like it. And this is one of those Nakamol necklaces. And there's your tag right there. So Nakamol turquoise color beads, really beautiful gold tone chain. I don't know much about this maker. I just know that they sell very well. They're very popular. So let me show you again. You've got this lovely pendant and two chains that come together with this Rolo chain, and then one very chunky, I guess, small Rolo type chain. And at the top, you have all of this. It measures Thirty inches plus another five or six inch extender. So that's quite a long piece and I did price these out and my price is 25. So there you go on the Nakamol. Quite a long piece in great shape for 25. Am I going to get these other pieces in? I might not because I don't want someone to check out of the video and miss them. But I do have a lot more genuine pearl jewelry. I have some cute vintage pieces. Oh, let me show you, this is so beautiful. Okay, this is probably a necklace that you wear like this because I'm not seeing any like belt clips on it. It has this textured metal tone on the back, textured metal, and it's so, Beautiful, it's all prong set rhinestones. I think that's how you would wear it, very lovely. And you get way to the top, there's one missing, just one, right there at the top. I'm sure it would be behind where no one would ever see it when you wear it, but I want you to be aware there's that one missing. But wow, they are so sparkly. It's in great shape, it's a beautiful, piece. I wish I could put a rhinestone in there, but I didn't want to put something in that wasn't the right stone, you know, and make it look goofy. So, wow, it's a long piece. I'm trying to measure it here. Oh, it actually does have a little clip. Let me show you. So that's 20. And that is 37 inches. It might be a belt has this on the other side. So if you wore it as a belt, you could clip it like that, I suppose. I don't know. I'm not sure how. Or, like I said, it's very pretty to wear it as a necklace this way. So there you go on that gorgeous hunk of hunk of burning love. And I'm going to say 15. That's such a steal. Just because it has that one stone missing but I hope that makes you happy. And then I've got this, this pendant with an L on it. I think it's so pretty. It's on a very tightly wound threaded chain. 
It's in good condition. I think this would look great if it was on a silver chain, but that's just me. I just thought that pendant was just too pretty. So I'll say $5 on that piece. And then I have this bracelet. I was wearing this the other day, and I like it. It's a soft purple, all real pearls. And they're all hand knotted in there with some tassels. Very easy to size it for yourself when you get it on or take it off. And I'll say $6 on the real pearls. And I have these beautiful cascading glass earrings. They are stunning. They're all glass. They're on a little bit darker metal. But look at the size of those pieces. And they're all cut just beautifully. Isn't that great? So let me give you an idea of the size by putting them up against my hand. Isn't that beautiful? When they're hanging from your ears and catching the light, wow. I think these are stunning. And even though they're not sterling, I think they're worth $30 all day long. That's a lot of glass, a lot of work, and super nice earrings. I have craft jars and craft bags to show you, but I think I'm way over time. So I may split the video in two. If you hear me saying something like that along the way, then you'll know why, okay? All right, I'm ready to sign off. I've been working on my thumbnail to make a beautiful picture for you all. Let me just remind you again quickly how to purchase anything that you saw that you might like. Please email me, oops, I have the wrong one, at capecodebaygirl at gmail.com. And let me have these four pieces of information, the video name, episode number, timestamps of when your pieces show, a brief description of those pieces, and the price is given. Okay, thank you very much. I'll be watching for your emails and answering them as quickly as I can. And also, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'd appreciate it very much. And I'd love to know if you're a new subscriber. And even if you've been around for a while, we'd love to know that too. So I can't wait to say hi to you in the comments. Make sure you give me a like on the way out if you like the video. And ring that bell so you're notified when my next video comes out, okay? So thank you so much. Get those thumbs up now, and we'll see you next time at the Bobbles. Bye!